Good afternoon. Welcome, uh, Secretary Mnuchin, Steve. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know which visit I've stopped counting uh, in Israel since uh, you took office. And uh, our uh, relationship and our alliance has never been stronger. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is congratulate President Trump, the armed forces of the United States and the American people for the successful action against uh, Baghdadi. And it's good that this um, murderer has met his fate. We do know that we still have an ongoing battle against uh, terrorism, both uh, of the extremist uh, Sunnis led by Daesh, uh, but also of the extremist uh, Shiites led by Iran that is making a plunge for everything and everywhere uh, in the Middle East. Iran is uh, seeking to develop now uh, precision-guided munitions, missiles that can hit uh, any target in the Middle East with a circumference of uh, 5 to 10 meters. Uh, they are developing this in uh, uh, Iran. They want to place them in uh, Iraq uh, and in Syria and to convert uh, Lebanon's uh, arsenal of 130,000 statistical rockets uh, to precision-guided uh, munitions. They seek also to develop that and have already begun to put that in Yemen with the goal of reaching Israel from there too. We view Iran as the greatest threat to peace, stability, and our security, and the security of many others. They've fired into uh, Saudi Arabia. They've uh, uh, interfered with the international shipping lanes. Uh, they've attacked uh, Americans, and they've killed Americans throughout the, uh, the last uh, 10 years in Afghanistan and elsewhere. Iran is the single greatest threat to stability uh, and peace in the Middle East. That doesn't mean that there are no others. There are. We are. The Middle East is rich with, uh, with several things, and one of them is terrorist exporting uh, nations and groups. Uh, so while there is a tremendous achievement yesterday uh, in the action against the leader of Daesh, there still remains uh, a massive effort against the other forces of terror and the nation, the terror state of Iran. Uh, we have. Uh, enjoyed great support from the United States uh, in this effort twice. One, in the military assistance that the United States generously gives us, and second, in the effort that you and President Trump lead all the time, which is the increase of sanctions against Iran. You've recently added the uh, anti-money laundering sanctions, which uh, apply to the banks. That's a very powerful tool, in addition to others that you put forward. And I encourage you to put even more. Uh, Iran's capacity, we see this very clearly, to launch its aggression, to develop its uh, weapons of death, uh, to purvey its, uh, uh, its menacing uh, ways, that capacity is diminished to the extent that you can uh, tighten your sanctions and make their, uh, the availability of cash more difficult for them. We see this in every part of uh, the Middle East. So I want to thank you for what you've been doing and encourage you, Steve, to do more, more, a lot more. And thank you for your friendship. Thank you. Welcome well, to Jerusalem. First of all, it's a, it, it is a pleasure to be back here, and thank you for hosting us and welcoming me and, and our entire delegation. This is now my fourth official trip here since I've been Treasury Secretary. Uh, as usual, this is my first stop on my tour this week across the Middle East. So nobody is a better partner to the United States than Israel and you, Mr. Prime Minister. I want to personally thank you on behalf of the President for everything that you're doing with us. Uh, as it relates to Iran, we have a shared view as to the threats that Iran poses to the region and to the world. Uh, we have executed on a maximum pressure campaign for sanctions. They have worked. They are working. They are cutting off the money. Uh, we are not doing this to hurt the people of Iran. We are doing this so that Iran stops their bad activities in exporting terrorism, looking to create nuclear capabilities and missiles. Uh, and we will continue to ramp up more, 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 as you've said. I just came from a very productive working lunch with your team. They gave us a bunch of very specific ideas that we will be following up. And uh, I just want to also mention, because our national security partnership is 
very, very important, but our economic partnership is also very important. We have very strong two-way trade with Israel. Israel is really a leading center of technology throughout the world and in innovation. I look forward to meeting with a bunch of those companies tomorrow. And uh, we just finished our, our economic partnership in Washington, D.C. So thank you for your leadership and everything you've done. Thank you. Thank you.